We have not always been a, a wonderful nation where everybody was equal. Once upon a time, it's a racist nation, and we had to fight our own country for equality. Being in San Francisco during the civil rights era, I felt so personally involved because we stood up and fought for the change to take place. I'd like to be remembered as a pioneer of courage, a way to stand up, help others to improve careers, and to walk hand in hand as equals. David Johnson, Chuck Cleary, and Prima Bradley were the pioneers in starting their Black Caucus. And what they've done has really impacted the whole nation and how things are done on campus today. I'm Freeman Bradley, a co-founder of the Black Caucus. I was born on the campus of Tuskegee Institute and I worked at UCSF from 1958 through 1996 in anesthesia research as a director of the Research and Development Lab. My role with the Black Caucus, I was one of the original founders. We charged ourselves in improving the diversity on the campus. And Dave Johnson came in to the personnel department. He was very instrumental in assisting the caucus. My name is David Johnson and I work in the personnel office. Job training, counseling, you name it, I somehow get involved in it if it relates to the minority employee. I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, and we lived in the black neighborhood. Photography became something that I was turned on by. I was about subjects and what it was like for blacks to live in San Francisco. People that I met, many of them were part of the beginning civil rights movement. We organized and we, and we demanded of America equal rights. And my photography there would assist in that. When I went to work at UC, I feel like my presence there made some positive change, particularly as it related to the Black Caucus. The Black Caucus call upon the university to place its commitment to equal opportunity in hiring, training, and promotion, and upgrading as a priority item. I was born in Arkansas. I saw the Navy as an opportunity to leave the Jim Crow South. I came to San Francisco during the civil rights era, and when I came to UCSF, I was hired as the first black radiological tech. One other thing about radiology is the fact that once you're reviewing an x-ray, you really don't know the color of one's skin. When I arrived at UCSF, it had the nickname of the Plantation on the Hill. That is because the way in which people of color was treated. The janitors and the maids on campus were grossly mistreated. They couldn't use the restrooms, only in the basement. They weren't being paid regularly. African-American students were not at this time permitted to even put an application in to be considered to be part of the schools, pharmacy, dentistry, nursing, medicine, and all the other schools. Participating in some of the protests that was happening, I just needed to figure out where I could fit in. That we've got to give ourselves to this struggle until the end. Nothing would be more tragic 
than to stop at this point in Memphis. Within hours, Martin Luther King was dead, assassinated. The assassination of Martin Luther King initiated a meeting of black employees. We got together and tried to figure out what can we do? Something should be done. A few of us came together to form the Black Caucus, which was the first caucus in the UC system. We met in Cole Hall Auditorium, where people could verbally express and ask for change. That we had a problem of racism in this country, and more specifically, we had a problem right here on this campus. And we met with the chancellor and we gave a list of our demands. Most important, I think, is that we've developed really healthy ways of listening to each other. And to me, this is perhaps the most important thing in terms of the long-term future of this institution. One of the goals of the Black Caucus was to make or have UCSF be as diverse as the city of San Francisco. The Black Caucus stood for an increase in the presence of blacks on the campus. Let's reach out and, and recruit people and hire them to be in these departments and promote them once they're down. And that's one of the good moves that the Black Caucus made for UCSA, was to have them realize in order to continue improvement they had to tear down all the barriers and get involved in hiring different types of people. And the campus eventually benefited by our efforts. We not only paved the way for African Americans, but also all people of color. The fruits of our labor is progressive. And as I look out and praise the younger generations, that has picked up the mantle and insisting that we should continue to eradicate racism no matter where it is. The work isn't done and we have lots of work to continue to do.